Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Mackie. Sid is over there cooking us up some delicious dinner. Uh, last week we did a van tour and we wanted to show you guys a little bit more about our camp setup as opposed to our van setup. Um, so most of our camp setup, the stuff over there, which I'll show you in a second, lives in our roof box here. So we can fit multiple tables, chairs, a bike stand, all sorts of stuff in there. Um, and then the rest of the stuff, the actual cooking stuff, lives in this cabinet. As you can see, most of it is gone. We have a colander, an extra pot, and some bowls and stuff that we aren't using right now. So those are still in here. The other parts are our cooler, which is on a slide here. So we can pull it out and pop it open. Got some good food in there. This slide is really awesome. Our cooler is also where we put stickers of places that we go, uh, companies we work with, and awesome people that we meet and hang out with. Um, and then our water is in that one. So I will head over now and show you guys our camp setup. One of the reasons we have a van is that we wanted to be able to bring all the things basically like we we want to have a fun setup we live on the road so for us we want to be able to like show up somewhere set up and make it feel like home so we have our slack line which is attached to these trees now uh, we don't always set it up but we try to whenever there's a good spot and a couple of good trees we try to um, we have our clothes line set up back there behind the bikes connected between two trees and that's just a piece of uh, you know, like small cord that we hang up and then we have a bunch of clothes pins. Um, over here we have our tumbling mat, which we originally got because, <laughs> it's actually a funny story. So we were in Chile at one of the EWSs and Sid crashed, we both crashed actually, but there's a great picture sequence of Sid crashing and she OTBs and like rolls out of it kind of down into some bushes. And we were like, wow, that's like, it's a good thing you know how to somersault. And we had been practicing somersaulting just for fun like the week before. So we were like, oh, you know, it might be good to have a tumbling mat so we can practice crashing basically so that we can roll out of it and not get hurt. So we got back to the US and we went on Amazon and we found this mat for like 60 bucks or something. And we got it and I don't think we've ever used it for tumbling but we use it for napping, we use it as a windbreak, we use it pretty much daily for stretching. So it's been like one of the best $60 investments we've ever made, even if we don't actually use it for its intended purpose. Uh, we have the chill bean over there, which we got in Thailand when we were visiting my parents for Christmas last year. It's basically just a, like you swoop it around to fill it up with air and then it's just like having a couch wherever you want to have a couch. It's pretty awesome. Now I don't really want to get up. Okay, I'm doing it. So, we have our chill bean. We have our two Eureka chairs. Um, High-backed ones. Yes, they weigh more. Yes, they're not as convenient as little tiny ones. But we have the space and they're ridiculously comfortable. So, no apologies. Um, this is a table that Eureka makes. I don't even remember what it's called, but one of our favorite things is this dish drying rack. I'm gonna stay out of Sid's way because she's cooking. Um, is this awesome dish drying rack underneath it. So basically after we rinse our dishes, we just throw them down there and they dry over the course of the next, you know, hour or whatever, um, which is like the best thing ever. This is our dishwashing bucket. It fits specifically in one of the cabinets of our van. You will have seen in the van tour. Um, so there's two of them, wash, rinse, although usually it's more like we use one of them to rinse and we use whatever pot or pan we used to heat up water to wash. We have our spice drawer, silverware drawer. This is the Jet Boil Minimo, I believe. And Sid uses this every morning to heat up water for coffee. Um, it's ridiculously fast. Cutting board, essential for us because we eat a lot, or we make all of our own food. All these vegetables. Um, eat lots of vegetables. We have a garlic squisher. You should show off the garlic squisher since it's one of your favorite tools. I squished my garlic though. Garlic is great. 
garlic is great. Um, and then we have this thing. This is the Jet Boil Genesis, and we pretty much love it. Basically, these two fold together and fit inside the pot. And then you put its top on and then the pan fits on top of that and the whole thing fits in that tiny little case right there. So it's a very efficient use of space, which is great. And we get a double burner stove. Um, we connect it with just a you know 25 pound propane tank because as we said, we live on the road, we cook on the road, we cook generally two meals a day, breakfast and dinner. So it's silly to use those little green disposable ones for us. Instead, we just use a propane tank. Um, the other really cool thing is the Eureka Gonzo Grill. And this is a cool thing that Eureka Jet Boil does because they're part of the same company. Is you can do the output of the base camp or of the Genesis as the input of the grill and you can run two burners and the grill all at the same time. Um, we aren't using this grill tonight, but we used it last night for burgers and it's just an awesome little grill. And then on the other side of this is a griddle. So, and then you can just take it off and use that as a burner. So if you just want one thing, um, if you don't need quite as ridiculous a setup as we have, you can just use the Gonzo grill because you've got grill on one side, griddle on the other side, and then you can put a pot or a pan if you take that off. We've got links to the specific of each of these tables um, because I can't remember what the names are, but we're gonna look them up and we will link to them in the description. We also have pinned a comment that you can use for a discount on Eureka and Jetboil sites because we work with them. So discount code is pinned in the comments and links to all the tables and chairs are in the description. Then we have our solar panel, which plugs right into the van. Um, it's 120, it's actually 140 watt, but it's called the 120 kit by Zamp Solar, I think. Um, but it's awesome because it allows us to like set up camp like this, park the van and stay for a couple of days. We have our five gallon water jug and then we have another six gallon water jug. So 11 gallons. We're very careful about using water for washing dishes. Like we, you know, we just don't need that much rinse water. So we're very careful there. And then pretty much just use water for drinking and cooking. Um, let's see anything else. Oh yeah. And then Sid's dirt bike is street legal. So we don't do this often, but we can use it to like run errands if we need to, if we're somewhere fairly close to town. It would be awesome if that was a little bit more dialed, but really we use our dirt bikes for like playing and training, but it's cool that it's street legal. So if we need to like nip in and get something or like where we are right now, there's no cell phone reception. So if we aren't gonna go into town, we can just like go out a mile on the dirt bike, get cell phone reception, check our phones, you know, respond to anything urgent and then come back out here without having to like pull the tent down, set the whole van up and then drive into town. Um, but anyway, that's our camp setup. We're really pleased with it. We think it's pretty dialed um, and it's been working great for us. I mean, this is what we've been doing for a couple of years now. Um, so thanks for tuning in. If you haven't checked our van tour video, you should definitely check that out. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And until next time, don't forget to be more awesome.